the United States Air Force recently carried out an exercise in which pilots operating F-15E Strike Eagle and F-16C Fighting Falcon fighter jets remotely commanded an XQ-5A, a Valkyrie unmanned aircraft in a simulated air-to-air -air combat scenario, marking a groundbreaking step towards the future of aerial warfare. The way the U.S. military operates in contested areas is changing as a result of this historic test, which was carried out over the Gulf of Mexico and represents a critical milestone in the integration of men and unmanned assets. The drill demonstrates the Pentagon's determination to adjust to the changing needs of contemporary combat. The test which was overseen by the Air Force Research Laboratory, demonstrated the growing significance of drones as force multipliers that can execute challenging tasks while protecting human pilots. Kratos Defense and Security Solutions was responsible for the development of the XQ-5A -A Valkyrie. The Valkyrie is a stealth drone with a high subsonic speed that was created as part of the Air Force's low-cost aircraft technology LCAAT program. It is intended for long-range operations and prioritizes affordability and adaptability. The drone, which is 30 feet long and 27 feet wide, is propelled by a single turbojet engine that produces roughly 2,000 pounds of thrust, allowing it to cruise at Mach 0.7 to end reach a top speed of Mach 0.85. It is appropriate for long-range operations in contested airspace because to its remarkable range of over 3,000 nautical miles and operational height of up to 45,000 feet. The Valkyrie's infrared signature is decreased by its stealthy design, which minimizes radar cross-section with its trapezoidal fuselage, swept back wings, and V-shaped tail, together with S-shaped air inlets. Up to 1,200 pounds of ordnance, including precision-guided weapons like the Joint Direct Attack Munition JDAN and GBU-39 Small Diameter Bomb, as well as the electronic warfare devices and sophisticated sensors for surveillance, can fit in the drone's modular payload compartment. Utilizing rocket-assisted launch and parachute recovery technologies, the drone's runway-independent design allows its deployment from challenging places, including forward bases and even marine platforms like ships or semi-trailer trucks. The creative utilization of F-15E Strike Eagle and F-16C Fighting Falcon fighter jets as aerial command platforms, which directly control Valkyrie drones, was at the heart of the most recent experiments. A twin-engine, all-weather strike fighter jet, the F-15E, is well known for its adaptability in both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missions. It can engage and detect targets from a great distance while coordinating with other aircraft through secure data links because to its sophisticated avionics, which include the APG-8, to active electronic scanning array radar. With its agility and extensive sensor suite, which includes the N. APG-83 Scalable Agile Beam Radar, which improves situational awareness in challenging combat situations, the F-16E is a single-engine multi role fighter jet that enhances the F-15E. F-16E 
F-15EN F-16C pilots controlled virtual enemies against XQ-5A A Valkyrie drones in exercise that mimicked an air-to-air -air combat scenario. As Lowell aviators, the drones carried out operations that would typically put manned planes in grave danger. The test probably involved the Valkyrie doing reconnaissance, identifying targets, and maybe simulating the deployment of air-to-air -air weaponry, such as AM-12 MROM missiles, albeit no active weapons were employed. The specifics of the scenario are still classified. Pilots of the F-15E and F-16C officially operate as an airborne command and control system, leading Valkyries without the assistance of control centers on the ground. As pilots handle the tactical battle, this change can lighten the strain for AWACS and JTAC, freeing them up to concentrate on more comprehensive strategic oversight. The exercise demonstrated the strategic imperatives that shaped Valkyrie's development in addition to validating its technical capabilities to keep its advantage in the air. The US must keep coming up with new ideas, while rivals like China and Russia create their own unmanned systems,